Hey guys, Luke here, and this is episode 2, round 2, whatever. Um, so, I'm gonna go straight into the game. Against Penrith Panthers, and I'm guessing it's at the CI, whatever, Sporting Bet Stadium, wherever it's called. Santa Bet Stadium, that's it. Josh Morris, out of form, don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. Move these two, I want Tony Williams on the left hand side. Real life, sort of style. And yep, we're gonna get straight into the match. I think throughout the that season I might try different people. Like um I put Templeman, I put his speed up and like he's kicking. He's pretty good at kicking. So I might have to give him a go at fullback sometime throughout the season. Corey Thompson have a go. Um might have to play Inu a few games. I like Inu as a person, but on the field he's so frustrating. I've never, I've never yelled at a player so much. So James Roberts at fullback. Obviously he's not there for life. Um, Moylan's not there, so he's their main dude. I'd say Panthers, but James Roberts at the Titans in real life. But yeah, he he moved late on. It wasn't a thing that happened before the season or anything. I don't think. Anyways, there's the outside coming out. Whatever. Let's go. I like this jersey better. It's probably my favourite jersey. Actually, I like the Bulldogs to her jersey. I really wish it was on here. Dogs barking. Got to pause it. So I can uh, resume right now, I guess. Dogs barking. And I, I don't want to start again. I mean, who does? Dogs, uh, what we was barking at was people going around putting stuff in the mail. And then also, I think there might have been an argument. Um, to people living across the road. So that was kind of funny. Eastwood tackle on Kai. I don't have really anything to talk about here. Um, also, if, uh, if you're remembering those series I did called Rugby League Manager, um, if you just want it, um, someone gave me a link for it, so I've downloaded it. I think I might have installed it. I just haven't played it again. It's so annoying to start off to have to start again, but I may do it in the future. And we get it stripped. Forward pass, good stuff there. Good tackle by whoever it was. Not Parrot. The other person. So here we go. Reynolds taking it to the line. Smash my big Jamal. Tolman. Just barges someone off. Number 12. Here we go, Reynolds. To Parrot. Hogginson's through a gap. Chip and chase. And it didn't pull off. It held on a tackle, Jesus. Over the sideline it goes. Back underway with a tap. McKendry. So McKendry takes it up. Just for a normal hit up. Idris. Strong tap. Smart play. Takes the tackle. McKendry. And that's a good tackle. Good, not a good solid tackle there from Ennis and Graham. I'm not sure what side Jamal usually plays on. I know for Wood, I used to play on the right hand side, so I'm guessing that's where he plays Salad. now. Oh, that was good from Salad. Good tackle. Put left wide back there. Seeing as Stanley was involved in the tackle. Right McGinnis takes the bomb. In real life, they would have just let that bounce most likely. I really wish um, dummy half runs were a lot better on this game. Because, like, in real life, when you're in that position, there'll be a lot of dummy half runs by the outside backs, and you just can't do it on this game. Oh, I nearly got another offload there. I, I pressed for the pass button. A lot tighter this game than the other one. I felt in con total control in the last game. That's a really nice kick. Just got to go down and smash him. Yeah, there we go. Big hit. Laugh eye. Smashes Naglama. Where's Naglama, probably? Or maybe it was Kevin. It's probably Wes in this game. Because Wes rated pretty well on this. Although Kevin's probably not too bad either. I think I might have upped his stats a little. Good, no. I didn't notice Mansour. Well, I haven't noticed him yet. He probably is in the side, but 
fight and see. James Roberts still on the kick in. I don't know if he's got a kick on him. Yeah, uh, Parrot. Tolman just taking it to the line. Oh, and he's dropped it. At least you haven't thrown it in this set yet. That's the main thing. In the last episode, I've gone on about not doing an error. I guess that that's sort of true because I didn't throw an inner set. That's the main thing. Good tackle by Stanley coming in. I'm talking as if they're doing it themselves. It's actually me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> in case you didn't realise, it's actually me doing it the whole time. I'd say that's that's Wiz Nagama right there, number three. For sure. Who are they saying this? You've got Dean Fire, New Zealand International, not even in the side, not even in the side, I don't think. Unless he's on the wing. Reynolds just taking a hit up like a prop. He would he would be a good prop. Like he'd be good at any position, I think. And here we have Corey Thompson. Oh, this will be a sick try. This is a great try. Awesome try there. Really, really nice try. I can't even... I can't even deal with that. That was so good. I thought, usually in those positions, I butcher it, like the last pass. I, like, I press it, but I get tackled before it um, throws the pass. I can't time it very well, but I did perfectly that time. Chase Stanley goes and puts it down. Uh, I guess we should put some substitutes, something like that. Uh, so we'll put Clamart and Casiano on... Jackson will play the whole game. Put in Pritchard and Fnukin, and we're good to go. Six nil up, you'd think. Six nil up, it is. Hocko one from one. I wonder whose name he had on the tee this time. It's probably mine. Oh, we're gonna go straight around them. I remember I did that with Barber one time. I'll explain this um, idea I had in one of the other episodes if I remember. But I had a, I thought I had a really good idea. Um, didn't play out because it was just too hard. But here we go, Tim Lafleur, an offload. Thank God that didn't. End. That could have ended so bad there with Salad. No, I guess I'll explain it right now because um, got a half to talk about. We got ten minutes. They go quite a while, so um. I was going to do like a thing where I would commentate, tw it was a 20 minute, 20 minute half or t something like that, and um, I'd play as the Bulldogs throughout the whole season, and it'd be like Bulldogs TV or something that I was going to call it, and um, I would do like a whole 40 minute commentary, and I've, I did like two episodes of him, like I'd do full on graphics, like team up, everything, try and do it so it looks like a proper... Um, so it looked like a proper game. There we go, there's off Just one too many offloads that the computer tends to do. Good defence, right? Not to get drawn in too much. Corey Thompson. He's such a good player in here, so far. Oh, palms off one too. Ennis was going out for sure. That was a little bit weird, but whatever. Morris. Trying to run back at the mark I was offside. Yeah, so I was going to do all that. Um, did the first one. And the reason I brought it up is because I scored a really sick drive, Barber, from the kickoff. Um, I think I dominated with Barber. Barber was so good in this game, it's stupid. I won the Dalian with him like two years in a row. Just things like that. He's just That's why I miss Barber, because he was so good in the game. And only the game. Two in the tackle. Whereas, like, like, in real life, in 2012, when this game was out, Barber had been doing the length of field tries and stuff. So when it happened, it was like, oh, shit, yeah, like, we just replicated real life. Whereas, like, Parrot and... They're never going to run the length of the field. Morris is the closest we'll get. But, he, um, he's not really... He's not really been at his best in the attack. Uh, this year. They said this match will be all defence, and that's what we're seeing. I mean, he's not he's not bad, but he's just not a usual standard. Like, usually he might brush off a few people and then make a massive break. But this time, he'll get the ball really late and then he'll uh, just get tackled straight away. Not really his fault, but 
Yeah. I think he he's um put a lot more muscle on, so his speed might have been affected a little bit. Or acceleration. Acceleration is probably more it. So I pressed pass there and it didn't pass, but whatever. Went over with Reynolds, try to dive and tackle. I'll probably just leave this lineup as it is for the rest of the game. Just can't be bothered making subs. Don't want to delay the game too much. Hopefully my dog doesn't bark again um, throughout this game. That'd be quite annoying. My dog's just—it's weird with that. There was an episode in Monaco one. Um, I can't remember which one, but one of them where it started barking. And that's quite annoying. But when my mum and dad are out, uh, he decides to suck so much. Also, uh, got cataract, so in one like fully in one eye, and it's just about there in the other eye. So that's, it's really sad. It's really sad to see what potentially could happen. Like, it's kind of funny at the time. Like, right now. Where he, like, runs into things. Because he can still see a little... He can still see for the most part. I think. But, it's also sad when you think about what it's leading to. Uh-oh. What do we do? We're going to go Lafayette. He can kick a little bit. Straight to Nagama. So that's Kevin Nagama, I think. Good tackle on Lewis Brown. I don't know why. I don't know why I said it like that, but whatever, it will do. Jeez, I just looked at the thing. 14 minutes in already. These episodes are going to take a long time to render. I can tell you that much. And the file size is going to be too big. I'm going to be quite big. I didn't realise the, um, the quality in the videos went down a little bit, like the, like if you looked at it, you'd probably go, oh, not really 1080p usually, as what you'd normally see. That's because I have to compress it, because the files are like gigabytes at a time. Australia's internet speeds just aren't good enough for that. Yep, that's it. that's an NS move right there. 6 nil but that's not good enough, I need to be smashed teams. Smash the little coward, Soward. I hate Jamie Soward. And all Spurs back to 2009 against Bulldogs. He milked a penalty. It was a game winner. Good stuff there by Sammy Parrot. He's been quite critical of this year. Um, Bulldogs have been alright with the fullback this year, but not great. We pick up another win, 6 0. We'll skip all this shit. Tim Lafayette, man of the match. Well deserved, I would say. Had quite a good game. So, puts us 2 from 2. Hopefully, we can go 26 or well, 24 from 24, or whatever it is. How many games we play throughout the year with buys and all that? That's why I said 24. So, we top of the ladder for now. Simulate all the other games. See where we end up. It's all the other results. Storm on. Sharks back in reality. Roosters won, just. Grab days beat Manly. I don't think that would happen in real life, to be honest. But whatever. It's come to the end of the episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more of this. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Bye.